So imagine it's the 1700s and you're a sailor and you've been tasked with discovering gold or finding a new colony to inhabit or just to trade or to get from one place to another. So you're in your boat and you've got to get from one continent to another. Well, how do you do it? You have no GPS, you have no Google Maps, you don't have anything really that you could use in terms of modern technology. So how do you navigate? How do you figure out your latitude? Well, sailors in the 16 and 1700s realized that they could actually determine their latitude using a star called Polaris. Now, Polaris is the scientific name for the North Star. So what you would do is you would go out on your ship at night and you would use an instrument such as an astrolab or a sextant. And what you would do is you would find Polaris in the night sky and you would measure how many degrees Polaris was above the horizon. Now that number of degrees is really important because it turns out that the altitude of Polaris or the height of Polaris is equal to an observer's latitude. So if you observed Polaris 48 degrees above the horizon, it meant that your latitude was 48 degrees north. The reason it works that way is because Polaris is located right on top of the Earth's axis. But it's so far away that when light from Polaris gets to the Earth, it basically is all coming in from the same direction because Polaris is so far away. So if you're standing at the North Pole and you want to see Polaris, you're going to look straight up over your head. So if we measure the angle that's formed between the surface of the Earth and straight up over your head, well, it's a right angle. It's a 90 degree angle. Well, the latitude of the North Pole is 90 degrees north. Okay, they're the same. If you were to travel a little bit to the south, let's say you were located over here. Well, now we can see that here's the horizon. Here's the surface of the Earth. If you want to see Polaris, you're not going to look straight up over your head. You're going to look this way. And so there's a much smaller angle. Maybe that's around 45 degrees. So maybe your latitude is 45 degrees north. If you continue going south, let's say you go to the equator. Well, the horizon or the surface of the earth is right over here. Straight up over your head would be over here. So Polaris is clearly not over your head. Well, Polaris is basically the same direction as the horizon. So in other words, there's no angle. It's zero degrees. Well, what's the latitude of the equator? It's zero degrees. So using Polaris as a tool to finding our latitude always works. Now, the thing we have to remember, though, is Polaris is only visible in the northern hemisphere. You can only see it if you're above the equator, north of the equator. So this is not going to work if you were in Australia or South America. Okay, so if you start at the equator, and you travel northwards, Polaris is going to get higher and higher in the sky. When you're at the North Pole, Polaris is directly overhead. We call that the zenith. The zenith is just whatever is directly overhead. And if you start at the North Pole and we travel south, Polaris is going to get lower and lower in the sky until you're at the equator where it's going to be straight in front of you zero degrees above the horizon. So here's another type of diagram that you might be shown on an assessment or of some sort. And so what you'll notice is you have a couple of things here. So again, the zenith is the imaginary point that's 90 degrees above an object. When we're trying to find our latitude out of these two angles, the one that's important is how far Polaris is above the horizon. So in this case, the person's latitude would be, whoa, 42.5 degrees north. Now in your reference table, you have the map of New York State, which of course has the latitudes on it and has some major cities. And what you need to be able to do is figure out where Polaris would be 
depending on what city you were in. So let's go through a couple of these together. Let's say that you were in Elmira, New York, and you were asked to determine where Polaris would be. Well, the latitude of Elmira is approximately 42 degrees north. So Polaris is going to be 42 degrees above the horizon. Okay, so the angle would look like that one. Let's say you traveled north to Syracuse. Well, Syracuse is located approximately 43 degrees north. So now Polaris is going to be 43 degrees above the horizon. Let's say you went even further north. Let's say you went up to Watertown which is located approximately 44 degrees north. Well, now Polaris is going to be 44 degrees above the horizon. So as we travel north, the altitude of Polaris got bigger and bigger and bigger, or higher and higher. And if we travel south, Polaris gets lower and lower. I hope this video helped make sense of how we would determine latitude using Polaris.